possum people, it's me, Grinding Panda here. Welcome back to our Woods 101 Myth Walkthrough. Now, if you guys don't remember last time, we restored the Eclipse Tower and all of Bastion, the Solar Market, Moonglit, and, well, pretty much everything else around Bastion. So. <laughs> Did the sniveling bubblers send you after me? See the death head and die. Oh, jeez. So, uh, yeah, we now have, uh, Shadow Magic. So that is a good sign. Shadow Magic, um, finds its way to enhance your abilities. Um, what else is there to it? And, um, there's also newer spells that require Shadow Pips. So, um... <laughs> Will they get that soon enough? This. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I I did enchant this. Uh, okay. So she. All right. I'm good. I don't really need to use the strike unless I'm unless I forget to uh, put in converts or unless uh, there's an ice boss and in case they cast a tower shield on themselves. <laughs> so. Hey, you know what? How about how about we just uh, do this? <laughs> just to show off. <laughs> there we are. I'm a, I'm a spooky shadow thingy. I'm a spooky shadow creature. <laughs> And, um, I don't really need any peers done. So, that can just fuck off. I don't really care how much this really hurts me, as long as I, uh, just hit. Um... Basically, as, as as long as you hit, it's good enough. Hitting one time is really not that bad. But, uh, usually some people go for, um, trying to hit all three turns. And, like, I'm, I'm just not about that. <laughs> Hitting one time is good enough for me during, uh, using chat around. See, there you go.
and um, well, mainly because because shadow spells work that way. Um, it makes it a bit more difficult to try to um, what's the word to try to defend yourself. <laughs> That's it. Because most shadow spells require you to pretty much just, just like, I don't know, I don't know, um, achieve cer uh, certain options for your shadow spell, and, um, for uh, the one that I have, you have to attack or cast an enchantment on yourself. Otherwise, um, you're gonna get the backlash. <laughs> and, um,. Backlash, it's kind of hard to deal with. <laughs> but if you know how to deal with it, you can pretty much uh, get through it all uh, uh, within the battle. I, I hope I explained Shadow Magic enough for you. <laughs> Then why did you take it? Oh, hold on. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I almost forgot to thank her for uh, for helping me. It's always good to have someone around, like in case, like in case you um you might uh, get defeated or something. Um, because <laughs> honestly, I'm still not good. But I try to be, I try to be good, um, but currently I really don't have Divin beside me yet, again, so that's kind of a dilemma we're facing here. Remarkable work! You are a true friend to the bees, but there is more to do. Yeah, what is there more to do? The base yellow jacket stole the shrine's singing bowls and sold them to the flame legs in the last wood. Get them back! Then, you'll need to buzz through the flower meadow to gather a heady pollen cloud around you. You need to smell like a bee. Then, hurry back to me! Oh, boy. Okay, well, we'll be right back. We got a match. Sit to Pete and Peter. I want to get pulled into those things. Not again. There we go. Hey. E. Oh. Shit. Zam. Our singing bowls, excellent, and mmm, nice perfume. You just told Move me to, to get the round dance oh. shrine on the edge of Celestial Lake and place the items you've collected. Then you'll have to do a waggle dance. You don't know the waggle dance? Here, let me teach you. Not bad. Well, nothing says it has to be done well. At any rate, just do the best you can. The entrance to the water cavern will rise. Head down and face Belosto Toe Biter. He's 
far more dangerous than his name suggests. Once he's defeated, free the lost Mouse King! He... That, that's, that's the place right there, right? Yeah. You place the wax candles, the singing bowls, and the traditional crystal stinger staff on the shrine. Now, do you think you can dance? Okay, let's, let's dance. Let's dance. You try to remember all the moves that Zam taught you. Not bad moves for a wizard. Okay, and now, and now I just... I had to get off of my heart for that. I had to get off of my stag for that. Oh my goodness. Alright. And we're back. All right, so let's uh, let's take care of this boss, so we can uh, rescue the king. Let me pierce your skin, my saliva will reduce your ego. Soon you'll be nothing more than a flesh bag of delicious juices. I was saving the Mouse King for my nymphs when they hatch. Maybe I'll feed your pets to them instead. The babies are always so ravenous. Alright. Oh jeez. Yeesh. Look at that thing. Here we go, put a mess spear. Jeez. Where are my blades? Why are my blades not coming in? I need my blades, damn it. What the heck? Where is fucking chasing that? There we go. There's my there's my blade. I was getting worried. Thank you. 
my goodness. <laughs> Alright, we're stunned. <laughs> Cast another blade. <laughs> Boss is really gonna do this, and I'd say I put him at my top 10 worst bosses ever. Just cause he slowly picks us off. Sounded different. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. I'll, I'll put in another blip for Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that's a that's a that's a big mess up. That's a big fuck up. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Got good peers. Oh yeah, because of the shadow thing. I totally I'm I'm so stupid. I never believed I would see this day. Spellbinder, I had been trapped by that horrendous creature for too long. You have done so much for my people. Will you help me rally the rest of the burrowers? We need a forceful strike against the remaining Umbra Legion forces. I've heard blue razors and night flames still plague the Lost Wood. Defeat a hand of each to show them we have returned. Further, here are messages for Elizar Fireblade and Tobias Split Sky. Deliver them for us and make haste. Boy, here we go again. More blue razors and more flame legs. Gosh damn it. We'll be right back. Okay, I have had it about up to here with defeating all these night flames and blue razors. I fucking had it with this shit. <laughs> Last Woods is great, but I do not like their defeat and collect quests. No, I do not. But I am glad that this is over. Hopefully. <laughs> I want this to be over. <laughs> anyway, we're supposed to deliver messages to Elazar and Tobias. So... From Bastion, from King Pied Morningsword. I never expected this day. Please tell the king that we fully support him. Of course, for Bastion. Bias. You took down some night flames in Camp Havoc? Ha! Oh, they will soon be driven from the last wood. What's this? 
A letter from Bastion? Excellent news. I heard many of the bees put down their weapons and rallied to their new queen. Old queen, whomever. Tell King Pyatt that the sugar gliders remember their vows to Bastion. To celebrate the king's return, and what's more, the restoration of Bastion, we should restore the king's throne. I've heard the crown gems for the king's throne were seen in the claws of some Goliath stingers. My people know where they are, near the flower meadow, but only you can get them back. Will you do this? Of course I will. Why the fuck would I not want to help you guys? You guys are adorable. You guys are super adorable. It might not be that bad. It might not be that bad. Trust me. It might not be that bad. <laughs> Say you come, say, cross your bones, grind your skull, scatter your deck. All right. Um. Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And boom. Deck is smaller. I would defeat all four of you. Whether you like it or not. Because that's the equivalent of a regular boss attacking four times in a row in one round. Ow. <laughs> I gotta be calm about this. These guys are not that bad. They all should be super easy. I could probably defeat three of these. Maybe. But I don't know about four. See, I, I don't know. Blade. <laughs>
You Goliaths haven't seen nothing yet. And one more, and we should be good. Oh, shit! Oh, God! This should, this should, uh, this should finish him off. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> I honestly thought it was going to be another boss, but... <laughs> but no, it's just, it's just four of them. <laughs> well, they got me good. <laughs> hey, cute little sugar guy things. Here's your gems. You recovered the crown gems! Excellent! Take the crown gems back to Bastion and use them to restore King Pyatt's throne. Give the king our regard. Eee. I'll always love you, Tobias. And I mean both Tobiases. <laughs> both, uh, both in Batar and, and the Sugar Glider. <laughs> I promise. I love both Tobias. You restore the king's throne with the crown gems and a pinch of magic. Glorious. Okay. The glory of the king's throne is restored. It is a beacon of hope and courage to the burrowers. You are too kind, Spellbinder. You have helped create an unofficial peace with the bees, but we need a formal treaty such as my ancestors had with the apiary. Can you broker a formal peace treaty with Queen Sabina so we may stand together against the Shadow Queen and the Umbra Legion? All right. Pyatt? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought it was about to crash. <laughs> Also, I can't really stand to fish right now. I've been playing too much Animal Crossing. <laughs> so many sea bass. Sabina. 
Spellbinder, I heard that you utterly defeated Belosto Toebiter and restored the Round Dance Shrine. Well done. King Pyatt wishes to forge a formal treaty with us? Yes, I am quite happy to do so. To bind the pact, I need your help. Are we restoring Dithum? I grieve for the harm I did under the shadow, but I can undo one great evil. Divum Whiteheart was poisoned and laid in a resin tomb. But he is not dead. He is in a form of stasis and can be revived. Goliath Stingers have a similar potent venom. More stingers? Track down the Goliath Stinger lair and get a dose of their venom so we can create a remedy and revive Divum. All right. <laughs> let's, let's do this then. Let's revive Divum. Yeah! We're gonna get it back! I'm sorry if I sound too excited. <laughs> I just, I love Divum. I love Divum with a passion. He's just, he's such a great ally to have. Oh, hello there, person. Do you need help? Come on. Let's go. Hi. Come on. Come on. Are you AFK? You coming? Gabriel. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say. There we go.
There we go. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck happened? Okay, I clicked out of the game. Something happened. Oh shit. I think the game crashed. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Almost dead. Okay, something's going on. Oh, hold on, give me a sec. Just ask for venom. Take it. We have plenty. No, it's better to fight you and take it instead. <laughs> you managed to get the venom? Well done. We need to mix the venom with charcoal powder to transform it to its healing form. You'll have to get some from the Night Flames in Camp Havoc. They use it for their dark rituals. Yeah, that's fun. We can defeat two of them easily. Oh shit. There. <laughs>
Oh, it's fine. We can get another one. Oh, well. Okay. You got the charcoal powder. Excellent. Mix it with the Goliath Stinger Venom to create the remedy. I had Diva moved to the small gallery. Meet me inside. As 
soon as I melt the resin casing away, deliver the remedy. Divin's form is cold and inert, but you hope for the best as you make him drink the remedy. There is a long, dark moment where nothing happens. No heartbeat, no pulse, no breath. And then... Oh! Oh, oh that tastes terrible! We did it! We got it back! Well done, Spellbinder. I will have my people escort Divum Whiteheart back to Bastion. He should rest for a time. Spellbinder, tell King Pyatt that the apiary is honored to stand with Bastion against the Shadow. The way ahead of you is dark and fraught with peril, but if I can ever help you, you have but to ask. Spellbinder, what word do you have from Queen Sabina? A treaty? And Divum Whiteheart return to us? A glorious day! Spellbinder, the Shatter Queen must be reeling and distracted from your victories here and in the Moon Cliffs. I know you are eager to press on and face the Shadow Queen. I do not understand her dark ritual, but I know it must be stopped. The Shadow Palace lies at the end of the world across the Starfall Sea and past the Conda Desert. But how to get you there? Consult with my advisor, Una Moondancer, then question Zaltana the Mirror Mask for her insight. Are you sure we can trust this mantis? Hmm, strange allies in these dark days. True. wish to reach the Shadow Palace, the perilous waves of the Starfall Sea lie between us and the end of the world. As the Shadow Queen corrupted the Eclipse Tower, so too did she conquer the Radiant Alcazar and the Solar Ark. But once she plundered them, the Shadow Queen destroyed the Radiant Alcazar to ensure no one else could learn her secrets. She threw it down from the celestial heavens. The stars fell, burning into the ocean, and created the Starfall Sea. There are still celestial fragments in the world, dying star stones, which can help you navigate the Starfall Sea. But I am at a loss as to how to get one. Yeah, maybe it's all tenable now. A dying star stone. Hmm. 
Ghost Dog, the warlord who commands the Umbra Legion at Fort Rockius, has one. I do not think even you could just knock on the gates to Fort Rockius and have them let you in. The Milanos Tower is a ruin that overlooks Fort Rockius. From the top, you could issue a challenge. However, it would be an illusion. When they charge out to destroy you, you could instead slip inside the open gate. If you make it, look for my hunter sister, Zarozinia the Death Song. She will help you if you convince her we are allies. Okay, so we have to find Ghost Dog. Oh, Devon! Devon! Let me hug you. Let me hug you. There. Do you have a plan? Spellbinder, your plan is ambitious. But it is the only one we have. You have my best wishes. You will have a companion on your journey. I told Devon Whitehart to rest, but he would not have it. Take him to the Milano's Tower. From there, you can better plan your infiltration of Fort Rakius. I am eager to see this through, my friend. Oh boy, here we go! Milano's Tower. This was one of our first great losses to the Umbra Queen in the old times. We need to drive out the Umbra Legion's forces from the Milano's Tower. All right then, we're 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 literally going straight in, huh? We're going straight in. We're <laughs> going straight in. I don't need anybody to help anymore. I got Divum on my side. and Tyrion Gorge of late. There are us and their friends mucking about. Ghost dog said to slay all who trespass here. Yeah. Get ready to face it. Get ready to face my wrath. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I love you, Devam. I love you.
Eh, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> oh, yes! Head sorcerer, Actius Nighthawk will stop you. A death's head sorcerer? They often carry lunar crystals. You could use them to create the illusion we need. Who let you up here? Those bane tails let me down, didn't they? I'm just gonna have to rock you like a hurricane! Oh boy, we got a storm boss up in here. <sighs> this could be bad. But I don't know. I'm gonna put in Medusa for now. <laughs> Cause... <sighs> I don't know. I clicked out of the game for a moment. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Whew. Sorry. Feels so good to have Divum back at my side again. Feels so good. Come on, don't fizzle. Don't fizzle on me. There we go. What the fuck?
There we go. Oh, don't you dare fucking siren me. She fucking- he, he fucking sirened me. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Honestly, that was my fault because I didn't have any full health. <laughs> Go to the last wood, get my health back, and then return to the tower. <laughs> Oh, he's by himself this time. Good. Okay. I can actually put Celestial Calendar back in here. if you storm owl me that's fine but don't get rid of my blades please
Okay, now let's just see how much this does. crystals for anyway from here you can see the stronghold of fort rockius use the lunar crystals to project your shadow as a challenge then hurry down to meet me outside the milano's tower you tap into the power of the lunar crystals they emit a soft glow that gets stronger and brighter you summon up the shadow self that sophia darkside taught you and project it through the lunar crystals it rises up as a challenge to those in Fort Rockius, and even from here, you think you can hear an answering roar. Oh, Jesus! I think they heard you. The gates to Fort Rakius are open. Move up to cover, then wait for the troops to boil out. Once they've gone by, hurry inside the fort before they discover your ruse. Quickly, inside, now! did it. We're in the fort. <laughs> I never expected to see inside the grim walls of this heinous place. Zaltana said to look for the Mantis Hunter Zarazinia, but in the meantime, be on your guard. Enemies abound. Let us battle through these gloom dancers and make it through those doors. They look important. All right, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We finally got Divin back, and uh, that's a big turn on us. So, uh, right now, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you guys did enjoy this episode, want to be a possum person, by high five with another like button. I will see all of you possum people in the next video. <laughs>